Dude, this is like our last resupply. <gasps> That's so crazy. You're so cute and itty bitty. Good morning. We stayed at Shaw's Hiker Hostel last night, which was amazing. I definitely know why it is rated the number one hiker hostel. It's in the perfect spot right before the 100 mile wilderness. It has a gear shop, they shuttle, they food drop, they slack pack. They do all the things. We got a private room with two twin beds, which was absolutely perfect. And yeah, we're headed. We're on trail right now. Uh, we have three miles to do until we get to the 100 mile wilderness, which is really exciting. I'm excited to see that sign and get the day started. We are not slack packing um, the 100 mile wilderness. Ex instead, we scheduled a food drop. So we bought four days worth of food at the hostel and we just put two days worth of food into a bucket and they're gonna meet us in two days and deliver us the bucket. So that really helps with the weight. Got some trail magic <laughs> right before the 100 mile wilderness. Here it is. This is the beginning of the 100 mile wilderness. Today it might be around 21 miles, 21 or 22 I think. Uh, the the lean-to, they call them lean-tos here. Um, the one we're going to is called Cloud Pond. Um, it looks pretty high in elevation, so I think we have to do a big climb right before we get to the shelter. And yeah, so we're kind of planning these next two days around that food drop that we're getting Sunday at 11 o'clock. So we kind of have to stick to a schedule. Um, and we did get a late start today, so it might be a late day but that's okay because I feel totally refreshed and yes I did get a new backpack and I'll probably talk about that later all right this is my new pack it's the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Junction 2400 so this is what it looks like Cute. I'm not sponsored I was just really excited for it <laughs> <laughs> this is such an epic lunch spot <sighs> I'm very tired today and I think it might be the heat. Um, I did get a good amount of sleep last night. I probably slept from like 11 to 7, which no, we woke up at 6, didn't we? Yeah, maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. I stayed up late watching YouTube videos. But yeah, I'm just really tired today. It's kind of giving me a headache. It's like really hot and sweaty and just like, ugh, I'm drained. But I did have a good breakfast. They had a really nice breakfast at Shaw's of like eggs and potatoes and bacon. And they had a good selection of food there, like really good backpacking. Um, meal bars and energy chews and they had a lot of good quality stuff so I don't know maybe it's just not my day but I'm at a water source right now probably gonna make some Gatorade and have an Advil which I've only had Advil twice on this hike so far so I don't know we'll see hopefully I feel better soon and I did trip on one of the bog bridges earlier and kind of cut my knee <laughs> That's probably due to my tiredness. But I used my trekking poles. No, I put my trekking poles on the rock. No, my poles are on the rock. 
<laughs> you don't have to. We have 100 miles left. Awesome. Katahdin, here we come. That's yeah, cute. I'm excited for all the Sobos. <laughs> all right, it is 9.15 at night. Obviously, I'm doing a little bit of night hiking. We have done 20 miles so far, and there's about three more to go. Um, yeah, it's taken a long time to get to camp. Had a late start, so it's expected and still feeling pretty tired. I don't have a headache like I did earlier, so the Advil worked. But yeah, we climbed up kind of a big mountain. Now it's evening out for a bit and we have a, another decent sized climb coming up soon. Then we'll be at the shelter, which is like 0.4 off trail, so it doesn't end there. Um, yeah, I'm getting hungry and I'll keep you guys updated.